First of all, I have to thank Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Shibor and uh, Mrs. Shoveri that has given me the nice occasion to have a, a contact with your conference. Uh, firstly, I have to tell you that I have a good number of notes that I cannot read them and I cannot, I don't want to, to look at them. So I have to just now uh, beg your pardon for your for my for my English that is not so uh, easily seriously uh, understood. But I will try to tell what I, I think that is uh, interesting to, to to think about. The subject is. Uh, introducing the new elements uh, for the understanding and for designing architecture. But I need uh, to give a note, perhaps a long note uh, about the uh, history of thought in Iran. And uh, I have to tell that uh, it is not so easy to, to leave what we have understood, uh, we have had the occasion to, to learn in our uh, universities of, of Iran concerning the matter of architecture from some eight years up now. But let me go in back. Let me go in, in last uh, 3,000 years ago and uh, to remember that the Iranians had had a first, a first, uh, uh, first God that was time. Time was the first God, Iranian people, and uh, was introduced in uh, some 3,000 years ago. And uh, everybody has had to, to learn, uh, not by written, by memory and but by communicational means, uh, what was the meaning of that? After some time, some some centuries, uh, we have had another another uh, God that was uh, the space. The first one that was Zorvan. Zorvan is a is a known uh, name for all who have studied the Iranian, Iranian uh, history and the philosophy of the Iranian people. Zervan uh, is followed by, uh, by the second, second uh, god that is called, uh, the first one is Zervan, the second one is uh, Savas, 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 that means the the first one was the time. The second was uh, the the second was uh, the space, and the space or savas or savash. He who knows better than me. Uh, this was the second, uh, the second lovely god of the Iranian people, and uh, uh, we can we can understand that the time and the space. Uh, can be uh, and meet each other in our mentality and in our manners of thinking uh, in day dimensions. But it was not enough. Uh, perhaps, perhaps one uh, one hundred hundred years after, perhaps uh, we have had another another. Uh, God, that this was not so uh, uh, so abstract as it was the first and the second. The third one is the wind. Wind, wind uh, can change the atmosphere, can change the colors, can change the seasons, and can make understanding the people that anything is not stable. And all that was 
established in the mind of Iranian people as the contribution of the first God and the second God was in the third one uh, goes to change, goes to change uh, sometimes rapidly and changes the colors, it changes the behavior of the people, changes a good number of things that uh, the, we think so. And what I am going to tell you is just documented by, by good books recent, recently uh, translated and published in Persian. Uh, that uh, we, we have had a good number, now we have a good number of informations about the first, second, and the third God of Iranian people. But the third one, that was the wind, uh, has had more success because they could make understand the people that anything that they're able to understand, able to love, able to leave them, is going to change. And the changement of the weather, the changement of the of the most active spaces uh, has changed also rapidly the opinion of the people and has changed them to an uh, active uh, active space of thought and uh, uh, make them much more uh, active in their in their uh, in their behavior. This is, a, this is a first manner of the Iranian people to, to love something that don't touch uh, the time and the space, space in great dimensions cannot be understood and not, cannot be touched so easily uh, uh, before and after the wind. We have the changement rapidly uh, understood by the people and uh, the we can say that in that period, in some some uh, two thousand or five hundred years ago, uh, the opinion of Iranian people concerning the uh, the matter of uh, the changements, the continuity of the love of the people, continuity of the of the earth was something that uh, could be understood by the people and can be. Could be, uh, could be, uh, have, could be, uh, give the points of reference to the people. Uh, some, uh, some, uh, some uh, centuries after, uh, we have had another, another uh, changes that was rapidly connected to the constructed space when the Iranian people have had a good, uh, uh, a good capacity to, to create some, some cities and to create a communicative, communicative uh, uh, instruments for the knowledge of the, of the earth. And uh, in that time, for, the, for some 2,000 years, uh, anything was established, all things were, uh, were subject of changement, but changements were not uh, radically. The changements were the uh, reflection of the, of the thought of the people that was uh, concerned in the, these three gods. Some thousand years ago, uh, this was the situation of the South in Iran. But about 1,000 years ago, 1,050, 60 years ago, we have the Shahnome that is not, that is noted, that is uh, known by everybody. This is uh, the book uh, concerning the, the history of the kings of Iran. And in the same time, it means the most high uh, written material that everybody can can read if knows 
a Iranian language. Ferdowsi is a known uh, name by, by anyone, by also you. And uh, we, can, we can see in the, in the first pages of the, of the Shah Nameh that uh, the question of the space, the matter of the space and the significance of the space is related to them, uh, to the meanings of uh, daily life of the people. And this table, this, this I beg my pardon for my English, but I haven't spoken it from nine years ago now. Uh, you will pardon me. But let me, let me re make remember that Ferdowsi, 1050 years ago, speaks about the space with its six dimensions. The space for Ferdowsi is written, is reflected, is made known by now, by, by us, uh, as a, uh, as a uh, six dimensional, uh, uh, Six, time, six dimensional existence. The, the stories and the comments and the notes uh, written by him uh, shows that uh, the Iranian people uh, had, have, have had a, a good knowledge of time and they, uh, they uh, knew the time as the as the high component of the Iranian knowledge, Iranian activities, Iranian towns, and the communicative communi communicative uh, uh, spaces created by them. This is just to remember that we haven't we haven't forgotten that uh, the space in which we are living, we are living uh, has always six dimension, dimensions and then in the same time is related uh, to the time as a seventh element, seventh factor or seventh component of the existence of the people. Uh, this is to, to remember that uh, the question of the space and the model of the imagination of the of the people of Iran concerning this constructed space is related to the imagination of the six directions, each of six completed uh, the the other and all are connected and based on the question of time, on the significance of time. This is a note that uh, contributes to the, to the manner of the realization and the, and the creation of the architecture, of Iranian architecture. And we continue, and we continue until, until uh, uh, 16 uh, centuries, uh, 15, 16th centuries uh, after the uh, Christ. And uh, in that time, some 500 years ago, uh, we have had the first changements of our behavior concerning the uh, architecture, concerning the constructed space, and especially uh, we have changed our opinion about the uh, existence of the time as a uh, as a determinant as a determinant factor of our life. Uh, in that time, we have had the first contact. We, as as the United Iranian territory, as the first uh, Iranian officially. Uh, known as a nation. Uh, we have had the Safavid period in which for the first time we have had the, uh, all the borders of our country as established 
and we have had the occasion to have the main language, the Persian language as the as the main is for for all the people of several uh, several uh, regions of Iran, and we have had the first law that covered all the all the country of Iran. But we have had another another factor that is more very important, and this is the uh, perhaps it is the matter of our uh, note in this contribution. We have had the entrance of French language, uh, French behavior, French culture in the uh, in the Iranian uh, high levels, in the Iranian courts, and uh, uh, this was very uh, important because uh, we have had the occasion to see the changement of the dimensional um, characteristics of our of consacred space, and uh, we have had the introduction of the of the time in uh, not in Iranian or Persian uh, Persian uh, culture, but in the European uh, significance in our country. So uh, the changement is uh, is very very uh, serious. The changement of the question of time. Uh, is related to the organization, the physical and organic organization of consact space. The culture of the people are always connected to the uh, to what the court, to what the uh, dynasties, uh, to what the kings were going to realize in our, in our central parts of the of our cities. Everybody knows that the first changements of the configuration of the space, of the architectural space and urban space, they realized in Isfahan, that was at that time the, the capital of Iran and it was directly uh, uh, conducted and uh, organized by the, uh, by the kings. The contribution of the of French architects, French artists, and also the uh, relationships that uh, we have had with the thought of European people uh, has changed also some some our opinions and our uh, and our behavior and uh, our uh, uh, manner of thinking and our manner of loving everything realized by us. This was a great change. And this changement was uh, honored by, by everybody and uh, the connection of the kingdom power and the religion of Iran, of Iranian people uh, realizes uh, architecture and urban spaces uh, without any any enemy, without any uh, contradictory uh, uh, position of everybody. Um, in all our great cities, we have had the changement of the, of the behavior of the people because of the of the consacred spaces and the consacred spaces cover especially the mosques and all the religious areas of the of the towns. This is a determinant point of of our of our behavior, of our culture, and our manner of, of the organization of this space, the contract constructed space in all its dimensions in it. And this continue, continues uh, for, for several years uh, and uh, receives uh, the masters of uh, architectural uh, 
activities, architecture uh, creations and recreations in Iran some uh, 100 years ago. With the first uh, uh, powerful kingdom of Iran, we have the entrance of <clears throat> some five architects that uh, realizes the most important uh, buildings of our country in all cities, not only in Tehran, but also in, in great cities of Iran. And uh, they have had the occasion to give a very important influence to the Iranian manner of thinking to the space and to think uh, what is the best architecture that they can have. Uh, this is a very, very short uh, report concerning the uh, manner of thinking of us, and uh, it has nothing, it has nothing uh, not, uh, not accepted uh, for the people. Uh, the people but has, uh, have had the occasion of uh, knowing uh, two diverse uh, points of reference, of reference, point of reference. I am sorry for my English, just bad and forget. These two are uh, the first one, uh, the manner to think about the uh, constructive space as it is realized and this or finest realizations are seen in, in the middle of the towns, in the in the, uh, the squares just became famous in the mosques and the, all the uh, buildings concerning the, the region of Iran. This continues, this, con this manner of thinking about the constructed space continues also in the University of Tehran that is born some uh, 87 years ago, and uh, uh, some 10 years after uh, when the uh, teaching of architecture has begun in Tehran University uh, in, in some places before and some places after uh, in the Tehran U University now in this, in this period, in this 80, 80 years period of time. Uh, we have the continuation of the same manner of thinking of the architecture. Architecture is given by us, is created by us, is created and injected by us, uh, to us, by the, uh, by the, uh, the European manner of thinking to the space, thinking to the time, and thinking to the behavior of the people uh, in architectural spaces. This is the reason for which uh, the title of this speech is going to speak about uh, three other elements that concern the creation of architecture and are completely different. The, without any uh, a choice that which is the best or which is more important. We have uh, three arguments that uh, uh, my good friends know it is the title of this paper. That is the problem of the scale, the problem of the or the question of measure and the question of uh, distance. I would like to be much more uh, precise in this manner, in this matter. That, uh, this depends to, to the audience, and if they want, I am at their disposition to give more, more information and more indica indications uh, concerning the, uh, the choice of these three elements, uh, the scale, the measure, and the and the distance. In a conclusive uh, uh, part of my discussion, I have to tell you that uh, 
uh, the scale in architectural recreation in any part of the cities uh, is decided by the map, is decided by the architect, and is decided by the architect and he who uh, demands the architect to, to, to realize that. The measure is the second element. The measure is choice and is determined by them, by the architect in uh, any part of the city or, or the quarter or any kind of places that he was, he has to, to realize architecture. The measure is not given by the, by the, by any other places, but any, by any other schools or any other authorities. The measure is fined by the architect. When he is going to, to study what happens in the constructed space in beach, in the existing constructed spaces in which he has to realize a new one. The measure is determined by him uh, and uh, he has a good number of choices, but the best choice is to determine the measure concerning the behavior of the people and the needs of the people and their tastes concerning the constructed space. And the third one, uh, the, the distance. I think that distance is a very active element to determine the question of the quality of architecture because the distance depends to the, uh, to the capacity of the people to, uh, to learn to learn how to see, how to uh, measure, and to how to and to touch the constructed space. Uh, this becomes the third element, always in, in, in the hands of architect that he has to connect one of these two other two elements for arriving to a conclusive inclusive uh, uh, manner of thinking of architecture in which is always able to use the metre, the meter, he has for inch, he has is always to free to, to, to choice them, but uh, the base of the choice is to have an uh, idea, a precise idea about the distance, about the scale, and of the measure of what he is going to realize. I think that for a, for a good realization of any architecture that's going to, to have as, his, as its best quality, the unity, the unification of any element in, a, in, a, in, a one, in one, only one, manner of thinking and manner of creation and manner of organization of, of the space is is determined is determined is determined another time excuse for my language uh, you know I have to tell you that uh, speaking in the English I'm speaking and so and without wanting I, I think in, in Italian, and after I think it was in Persian. Uh, this is the, not depends to me, it depends to the, to the matter of discussion. The matter of discussion is, is long about 3,000 years. And uh, I can, but uh, Dr. Shaveri knows that I have written some 18 years, uh, 18 books in architecture in several parts of the world. And uh, this has changed the manner of my speaking by writing so much. And I speak uh, in Persian in some classes, but not speak in English. Uh, as I've told you from nine years until now. But this cannot change the manner of the, the thinking of uh, your colleague. And uh, I think that uh, any question that can be 
it can be found and can, uh, can be exposed by the by my friends in the in the section. I thank you very much for your uh, attention, and I take a part on another time for my not so English well English spoken.